quickly. Um, have you started the new job yet? Not yet, not yet. I start in the new year. I mean, I'm speaking to a few people and I'm thinking about things and thinking what I want to do with the magazine as I've been doing over the last couple of months, really, with the election campaign. So, Was it a surprise to win? Because each, each leg, you were streets ahead of the guys. Yes, no, it's very, very satisfying. I mean, with an election, you can hope, but you can never know. You know, it's a secret ballot. You know who you've got working for you, who you've got supporting you. But you can never know, you know, how it's going to go. It became quite personal at times with some of the candidates, didn't it? It did, o only with, only marginally with a couple, to be fair. I mean, one made quite a big splash, um, but, but the majority of us played a straight and fair um, how united? Campaign. How united is the National Union journalists? I know there was a fight over the Israel boycott. Yes, I mean, I think with any union, you've got political divisions, you've got different interest groups. You know, that's it is the same in any union. I know the unions quite well. Um, it's it's democracy and it's it's debate. Most journalists so. I know are, are out of work uh, because of the slump. Uh, what what issues do you think you're going to have to address most in in the magazine? Four I, members. I think I think the freelance markets, the freelance membership, will be a huge thing. We've got over a quarter of our membership now freelance. It will be more soon. They need help. Um, they know they need to know that the support that the NUJ can give them. You know, when many people think they're on their own once they've lost their job. In fact, they're not. The NUJ can offer a lot of help in terms of advising them on the rate for the job, support, courses. So, you know, there is there's a lot. Well, what Gen about the courses? I mean, I've been a member for the NUJ for ages, although uh, I don't think I'm up to date on my I subscription will bring you a form. I at will the bring moment. You a form. Um, <laughs> but uh, regarding courses, so many journalists I meet uh, today, young journalists who've been to courses uh, at universities, just seem to think that copying Reuters and Associated Press Newswires is what journalism is about. I think, I think we're at a very difficult time when people who start young, um, they're starting in a highly pressurised environment, they're having to do an awful lot of things instantly without really being able to do the job in as much depth as they would like, in as much depth as would be satisfying. Um, the courses that the NUJ offers it are a, you know, designed to enable people to make the best of their skills. We are in a highly pressurised environment, but people, journalists, have to make the best of their skills. The magazine, it had the same editor for more than 20 years, so are you going to be making any changes just to put your own stamp on it and if so what? Yes, I mean I, I definitely want to make quite a few changes. I want the magazine to look different. I want it to represent all parts of the union. I think there are many areas where we're, we're a little underrepresented, um, underrepresented in terms of regions, in terms of freelance particularly. Um, in terms of books and publishing where we have a lot of members that we don't necessarily reflect at the moment. Um, Tim did a very good job for um, all those years. I'd like to do a, a bit of a different Well, it's job. a tough time for journalists. Thank you very it much is. for coming on board. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I don't know where uh, Yvonne's gone. Maybe she's run off to Gaza. Well, anyway, before today's uh, battleship runs out of steam, we've spared no expense to fly our next guest in from overseas, uh, all the way from Ireland. But let's take a look uh, at this clip before we welcome our next guests. Arms companies fuel war for profit. People will wonder in the future why and how it was that people tolerated this industry, which is responsible for pouring down death on innocent human beings around the world. I hope that when the arms industry is abolished, that people can look back and see among the actions which ended the arms industry will be this little action in this little town. We just made a rush for it and we got in. We were going to do a lot of damage, or as much damage as we could. And there the limbs we skip and call the hard and high. We fold and raise the scarlet standard high. And then we saw these huge cars going in with all these guys with balaclavas on. The place smashed through. They used a chainsaw to cut their way into the place. Shouting, protesters, we call upon you to surrender. on the ground, handcuffed us behind our backs and took us to jail. 
We defended ourselves on the basis that we were not criminals, but attempting to stop a greater crime. Welcome to Colin Bryce and filmmaker Gabrielle Tierney. Um, let's start uh, with you, Colin. What, what exactly happened? I'd heard about the Shannon uh, 5 when they damaged uh, US uh, military uh, equipment. What, what, what on earth did you do? Uh, well, it was a couple of weeks after the Shannon 5 got acquitted and it was the height of the, the Lebanon War. And um, immediately after the Cannon massacre, actually, which is, which is the thing really provoked the occupation, we um, got into the Raytheon plant in Derry um, Raytheon is suppliers of the bunker buster bombs that, um, that were used by Israel in that war and uh, used in the Afghan and uh, Iraq wars as well. Uh, we've been campaigning against that, that company for quite some time and uh, for us the cannon massacre which we knew was caused by Rath Raytheon bomb uh, was the final straw and um, we got into the, the plant and destroyed all the c computer equipment that was there. You destroyed them with hammers or? Well, with anything that we could find, the ma our, our main target was the mainframe computer um, that we believe stored all their, they, 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 they write military software in the, in the plant in, in, uh, in Derry and we believe that by taking that out with fire extinguishers and, and anything that was to hand, um, that we would... Software know, perhaps for targeting civilians yeah, absolutely, in yeah, Lebanon that's, that's in, in the is. war in 2006. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, and we believed, and what we said to the police at the time was that we were trying to prevent the commission of a greater crime. Um, I'll get back know, to, the, so to the police yeah. case. Gabrielle, of course, these sorts of events are uh, 